question is there anything that can bring these numbers down you know um i was reading the imperial college mm-hmm. report the professor who wrote it has you know is is corona positive himself yes. now neil ferguson uh, and it said that this report made trump and johnson finally act but the scenarios he paints are so dire i mean he's basically saying that even if you do like this complete lockdown right if you do moderate lockdown moderate restrictions you still have uh, you still don't have enough icu capacity mm-hmm. you you you're eight times less than what you have in countries like the united kingdom mm-hmm. uh, and if you do a drastic lockdown the question has to be asked can the world afford it and there are there's very very divided opinion on this there are doctors and public health experts who are saying india needs to move into a major lockdown and there are those who are saying not yet and there are those who are saying it's not affordable where where do you come in on it So again you have to understand the math of the disease and I'll try to explain it as simply yeah. as possible. We are exposed to the virus it incubates in us for about 5 6 days mm-hmm. and then we have a period of symptoms for another week or 10 days mm-hmm. following that. So you're talking about a 2 week period which is why the 2 week quarantines actually happen. So uh today if you have a coronavirus infection you might not know about it because right. you were exposed to it 4 or 5 days ago. Right. right? So the disease is growing under our feet so to speak mm-hmm. as we speak. the whole point of the lockdowns is to really slow it down so that it's like putting a brake on that virus it doesn't help to do it for one day it helps to do it for a two week period we missed the boat on testing we could have tested a lot more we could have prepared the population we didn't do that i don't want to get into why but we didn't uh if we had to do a lockdown it would be now we should lock down now for a two week period or would three you, week period would you think we need it immediately I, i think we need it immediately if we're going to do if we're going to follow that approach See some of these also political decisions but if you're going to follow what the 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 what the disease epidemiology says you do the lockdown today that's what the US is doing the, the reason why Maryland and California all these states are shut down 100% is because they figure if we do the lockdown today we've slowed it enough so that we can come back to life in two or three weeks from now if we wait for another three week period it is too late to do the lockdown at that point and then, then it doesn't make a difference because you're So would you advocate a lockdown? I would advocate an immediate lockdown in fact and except for the fact that I'm also mindful of the fact that in our country a lockdown is actually probably difficult because there are people who have to go to work and you know put food on the table so I'm you know it's it's a tough call I'm conflicted because I I know what the pain is and maybe India doesn't have the luxury of a lockdown. Mm. But what's the other alternative? So the other alternative is to prepare for the tsunami of cases or avalanche or whatever your preferred metaphor is there's going to be a large number of cases that come upon us between 3 and 8 weeks from now and at least if we can be better prepared of all the severe infections we will end up losing fewer of them and I'll tell you the good news and the bad news in a sense the good news is that there seems to be more evidence that um that there's some temperature sen- temperature and humidity sensitivity which means that maybe the south gets hit hit a little less and in fact uh, we'll have these estimates in the next year or two that that may work in our favor seasonality is always helpful mm-hmm. the second is that we have a generally a young population uh although in china we are now just getting the data that was a paper published last yesterday which basically said that all the kids as a whole were less affected kids under the age of 1 were severely affected Wow. then less from 1 to 5 and then less from 5 to 10 and then mm-hmm. 10 upwards was less so let's not uh, be complacent about the very small children the very small children actually do need respiratory support they will have severe infections so as a whole they're not bad but the the small ones are going to need help uh, indian kids are not as well nourished as chinese kids in general so we have a problem there as well uh the other part of it is also that you know we did buy ourselves some time with our border shutdowns and mm-hmm. so forth Today I don't think the border shutdown really makes much of a difference mm-hmm. because although regardless of what ICMR says the number of secondary infections in India is vastly more than what an Italian or an Iranian is bringing into the country. Okay now let me make a contrarian argument to you. So not exactly contrarian but to ask what lockdown is affordable to the world and to a country like like india and the, and let me just uh, just elaborate that a bit i was interviewing adar punawala who heads mm-hmm. the serum institute they're trying to work on building a vaccine like everywhere else in the world a vaccine is going to take at least in at least 18 months so we have nothing this year mm-hmm. 
His question was that if you keep trading on livelihoods, mm -hmm. there is a chance that bankruptcy, I'm just quoting him verbatim, mm -hmm. that bankruptcy, crime, despair, suicide, riots mm -hmm. is going to kill more people. That there is a real danger mm -hmm. of that, especially in our kind of country where the inequities are so high. Mm -hmm. And there's so many people who simply cannot afford mm -hmm. social distancing, right? So... And then I read another article today, which basically said that we're taking draconian decisions on lockdowns in the absence of reliable data. Mm -hmm. So there is also this contrarian sort of question being raised. So I would agree with Mr. Punawala that we've got to balance what works for our population. We can't do what the US did or what um, China certainly did. First of all, there's not an authoritarian country. You can ask for a lockdown, but you might not get a lockdown mm -hmm. at all. And what are you going to do? Shoot people on streets? That's not going to happen. So I fully agree with that. I think uh, that's why I think our best strategy now is to protect the elderly mm -hmm. and the very young. We are passing the phase where this lockdown could have really happened. and it, But yet you, you did in this conversation say, let's do it immediately. I said, if we are going to do it, let's do it. I Would said, you define a lockdown? I mean, us? like a similar to what happens in Italy. Everyone stays home. Everyone stays home. That's what many states in the U.S. are doing. California is closed. Maryland is closed. New York is closed. I, I'm not saying, I'm not advocating the lockdown in a, in, a, in a political social context. I'm just saying from the perspective of the disease, we need a lockdown. To but give the health system breathing space. It's no, no, no. It's also to, yeah, to isolate. To, to isolate and of course to give the health system breathing space so that we don't hit that peak. If that peak is only 30% as small, See, hypothetically, Barka, if we do that full lockdown in India, we would knock down the number, the peak by about 70%. 7-0? Seven 7-0. Zero? Seven zero. These, these lockdowns, An immediate lockdown could... Immediate bring... lockdown over a two-week period could achieve that. But again, as others have said, it's not possible in India because livelihoods are at stake and you won't get compliance.